morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. Hope everybody is well. It is Monday morning. It is 25 past nine and I am just leaving Tesco's having done a bit of shopping. We had such a nice weekend in London with Will and Georgie. It was really, really good. We walked absolutely miles. <laughs> My poor arthritic knees are really feeling it this morning. Um, we went to the Imperial War Museum, which was, it wouldn't have been my first choice, but Ashley was really up for that. And um, I actually enjoyed parts of it, not so much all the tanks and bombs and all that sort of thing, but they had a really interesting um, exhibition on spies in the, over the last hundred years and spying, which is something that I find quite interesting. And I enjoyed that. However, I have to say, they had a gallery on the top floor of, um, Bra bravery in wars and uh, people have won medals and um, just it wasn't actually all in wars it was just bravery generally and out of I didn't count how many but I walked up all the various rows there were maybe like 10 rows with maybe 20 30 40 people in each one and out of that whole room there were two women now I am pretty sure that there have been more than two brave women in the history of war. I've read quite extensively about the Second World War and women in it in particular. But yeah, I, I, th I thought that was pretty poor, I have to say. I was a bit disappointed by that. But overall, really enjoyed the Imperial War Museum. Um, and that's another one that ticked off the list. Um, as I said, we did lots of walking. We ate some lovely food. We drank some lovely drinks. We um, saw Will and Georgie both evenings and um, went over to theirs on Saturday morning um, for coffee as well. And yeah, just a, a generally really lovely time. So that was nice. Got back yesterday afternoon about four o'clock. Um, also met a really lovely couple on the train on the way back who we chatted to all the way back. So that made them... Um, that made a sort of nice um, journey on the way back you know the journey went really quickly so yeah feeling a bit exhausted after such a hectic weekend I have to say and quite glad that I have quite a quiet week this week um, the only thing in my diary is BT coming tomorrow to um, finalize the dig route for my full fiber cable where hey I, although I've just had a message from my former sister-in-law <laughs> That's right, weird that, doesn't it? Ex-sister in law. Ashley's brother's ex-wife, who we were really we were close to them um when he was married to her. Um in fact we lived next door to each other for quite a long time, um, when the kids were small and um I still keep in touch with her. I've always kept in touch with her, but when they got when they split up, Will was only her her kids were a bit older. There's two years between Will and Gabriella, her younger one, and um, then four years between Will and Henry, um, her older boy. And they're, they're quite close, the cousins, and Sarah and I really made the effort to keep them together even after she split up with um, Ashley's brother. So it's nice that they have that relationship, and I feel pleased that we did that. And then Sarah and I sort of drifted and didn't see each other. We kept in touch, but we didn't see loads of each other for quite a long time. And then last year, we sort of rekindled our friendship, and it's been lovely to catch up with her again um, and I think we might that was a very long-winded way of saying so I might be catching up with her for lunch or coffee or something later this week but um, not sure exactly but yeah looking forward to a week of work getting back to work this week and um, just being at home a little bit more which would be nice looking forward to that it's 12 o'clock got some eBay work done this morning and I'm just doing a bit of food prep for the week. It's about time. I've been nourishing my soul at the last couple of weeks, but definitely not nourishing my body. I need to start eating better. I've definitely been comfort eating since Dad died and um, not putting the best things into myself. So it's time to change that. So I just prepared a big tray of roasted, but well, vegetables that I am going to roast, they're not roasted yet, but butternut squash, I've got some fennel, I've got some courgette, some peppers, a bit of carrot, onion, a little bit of fennel, did I say that? So I'm going to roast these up and they will be the basis for various things that I'm going to eat this week. Find if I've got stuff ready, it's easier to be healthier than to then panic last minute and go, oh god, what am I going to eat? Side note, side note, when did bloody extra virgin olive oil gets so expensive all olive oil actually not just extra virgin i have just paid 
for this, okay, it's a biggish bottle, but it's Tesco own bread, it's nothing special. Eight pounds and 40 pence. What's that all about? I, got, I, I feel like it's doubled in price. We always use extra virgin olive oil. Occasionally, if we need to cook something at high temperature, we use vegetable oil, but very, very rarely. I like extra virgin olive oil. I like the taste of it. I'm used to cooking everything in it. I did toy with rapeseed oil for a bit. I tried that. I don't know if that's is it. That's a few years ago, and I found that that sometimes wasn't the best taste. In um, so I went back to extra virgin olive oil. I don't really like coconut oil so much because very high saturated fat and I need to watch what saturated fat I eat. Um, but yeah, what, what, what's going on with that? What oil do you use? And am I right that the price of this has almost doubled in recent times? <laughs> Very bizarre. Right, I must put my veggies in the um, oven. Don't really know where the day's gone. It's past five. We're having jacket potatoes for dinner, so I need to go and put them in the oven soon. <laughs> I need to also go and look at what the builders have done. They started laying the um, tiles for the floor today, which was exciting. Yeah, that was good. Right. My job this evening, one of my jobs this evening, is going through my gold necklaces and doing a bit of decluttering. They're not real gold, I should hasten to add, because I don't wear them all and I have a lot. I did a year-long thing with a jewellery company, Anna Luisa, and... Um, I ended up with a lot of gold jewellery from it, from promoting them, um, a lot of which doesn't particularly work very well for me. So I'm going to go through them and I'm sure I've got lots that I can pass on to friends and family because everybody loves a gold necklace, don't they? Um, library books I picked up this morning, I've got two. One is Laura Adlington, Diet, Diet Starts Monday. I follow her on um instagram i think she's quite interested i remember her from bake off as well and um i thought it was going to be a little bit more autobiographical than it actually is it's sort of more of a um body positivity manual just from glancing at it although i will reserve judgment because um i've only just glanced through it really and read a couple of pages at the beginning and the other one which i've been waiting for since before christmas but much in demand at the moment is matthew perry's autobiography which i'm very much looking forward to reading I'm currently reading the second in the series that i showed you before christmas the cazalettes series by elizabeth jane howard that i am um, it's a reread actually i read them first years ago and um, very much enjoying rereading those it's a bit dark in here but Yes, look, they've started the tiles. I'm talking to my vlog, not to you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're okay. nodding. <laughs> um, yes, half a floor's worth of tiles. It looks vaguely like it's going to be a bathroom. That's good, isn't it? It is, yes, that's the plan. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to my courtyard not looking like a builder's yard anymore. And to having a bathroom and a bath really missed having a bath good morning it's tuesday how's everybody doing it's about 20 past nine i think i've had a productive morning already i've got a wash on i've um, tidied up the bedroom i have made thermomix butternut squash and chorizo soup for lunches and i'm just making myself a little omelette with yesterday's roasted veggies for breakfast um it's two eggs roasted veggies and I'm gonna have a few little baked beans with them as well. Freddie is charging around the place today like an Olympic athlete. I've just popped him on my desk to film him. I would, don't worry I'm not gonna leave him on my desk and wander off. Um, he likes to sleep, he's right, rather partial to sleeping under the mats here. He burrows in. Want to go under there? Off he goes. There you are. Um, yeah, he likes to burrow in underneath there once he's eaten for the day. Exciting life being a tortoise, eating and sleeping. I, I mean, you, you know, I say that as though it doesn't sound ideal. You know, it sounds like a perfect life to me. But well, my crocuses have grown a lot, but still, absolutely no sign of a bird at all. Hmm, weird. 
Um, they almost look as though they're going over actually. Maybe they just need some water. Perhaps I'll water them. It's been a busy morning. The BT guys have been um, to finalise the dig route for our cable, fibre optic cable. It's very complicated. Um, but yeah, that's all good. So we've just got to wait for the dig team to come now. They didn't know how long that would be. <laughs> Meanwhile, BT are paying me um, £5 a day for not installing my full fibre. So fine by me. They offered. I didn't ask for any compensation. They just told me that was apparently what they paid when they haven't managed to connect you. And I have to say they've done their level best. So, you know, it seems a bit rough that they have to pay me five quid a day, but there you go. I'm not gonna say no. Um, what else has happened? The builders are cracking on with the floor. That's looking good. I filmed a try-on video, she and try-on video, which you'll see later on this week at some point. Um, I wasn't able to film it in my normal way, so I hope that's turned out okay. Um, oh, while I'm talking about that, I am, for the moment, turning off comments on all clothing videos because just just fed up of people being rude. And it's a real shame because the vast majority of you are all absolutely lovely. But I think in common with social media generally, people are forgetting what A, good manners are and B, a decent way to interact with other human beings is. And... Um, I'm not, I don't want to let it get to the stage that it's really bothering me and it's irritating me rather than anything else at the moment. So I'm just going to turn them off for a bit. They will be back on at some point and I know it's less than ideal. But, you know, I've got to do what's best for me, haven't I, really? So, um, yeah. Anyway, that was my toast popping up to go with my soup, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> and I'm going to go and have some lunch and catch up with some more Married at First Sight. That is some horrible light, isn't it? Absolutely fell. Whilst I have never been... You'll have to go further away. I can't bear to keep myself that close up. <laughs> there you go. You're balanced precariously. Let me move that back. That's a bit better. Um, if I look like I've been crying, it's probably because I've just put eye drops in. I've just had a shower. What was I going to say? I was going to say, whilst I have never been a have a bath every night girl, I do like in the autumn winter months and yes I firmly feel as though we are still in the winter months much as I'd like not to feel like that. Um, I've always been somebody who likes an early evening bath or sometimes a before bed bath a um, couple of times a week during the colder months I just find it so relaxing and nice and after going to London my knees have been so sore from all the steps we walked <laughs> that I would have really loved a bath particularly much and I am very much missing having a bath but maybe in a couple of weeks or so we might have one again we shall see we never know anyway I've just had a shower and washed my hair to save doing it in the morning I haven't left the house today I've um, sort of ran out of steam halfway through the afternoon as I do just you know, my mirror so I can see what I'm doing with my hair and um, yeah I haven't left the house today and I feel like I really probably ought to do so tomorrow I actually have to go out tomorrow and buy some minced beef because I've been through the freezer and we haven't got any when I say I've been through the freezer I had a very cursory look I opened the door and it didn't drop into my outstretched hand add to the list of things that I need to do, sorting out the freezer and figuring out what we've actually got in it, which I've been putting off for, I can't tell you how long, probably since last time I did it, um, because every time you do it, you just need to do it again, five minutes later, don't you? Especially when there's two of you, cook. Ashley and I share, the, I, I would say actually, at the moment, Ashley cooks more than I do, but um, yeah, we sort of share the cooking, so one of us is pulling stuff from the freezer and it's difficult to keep track when there's two of you doing it on alternate days type of thing, you know? So yeah, that's another thing that needs doing and I desperately need to properly go through my wardrobe again. It is so over full. Um, I'm suffering from that thing where you have far too much choice <laughs> and it, it paralyzed. Choice paralysis, is that what it's called or something? Um, just because I've got too much stuff, it's over full, I can't see everything I've got and um, I just, I need to at least tidy it or cull or something and I can't face it because there's just stuff everywhere at the moment. Um, feeling 
inside my head very disorganized can you tell from the way i'm talking i've been using this perfume and this is quite an interesting one it's a pen halligan's perfume it came in a little set i bought a couple of years ago it's called empressa i don't know if that will focus or not it smells quite nice um, I wouldn't say it smells nice enough for what it costs. I like a scent to, if a perfume's expensive, I feel like it should be quite unique. I would say that's quite generic. I looked up the ingredients on, um, or the fragrance notes on Fragrantica, such a good website that, I really like it. And um, it says that it's mostly citrus, for the top notes particularly which I would actually disagree with. Anyway, all this to say that I've been using this for a few days now and I'm super disappointed with it. I'm not, I don't find it unpleasant, but it disappears on me within an hour. I cannot smell it. However, when I was dropping parcels off at the post office yesterday, the lady said to me, oh, your perfume's lovely from behind the counter you know um and i i smelt my wrist and i could not smell it at all so it's that age-old thing isn't it other people can smell perfume but i like to be able to still smell it on myself that's what i like i like to be able to smell the perfume on myself don't care whether that's correct or not i like to be able to sniff my wrist and be able to still smell the perfume on on it um more than an hour after putting it on particularly when it's this expensive so that will not be a full-size purchase but i do enjoy trying different perfumes anyway i think that's probably it for today i'm probably sounding as boring as i feel good morning good morning how's everybody doing it is wednesday it is gray wet raining miserable again i've just been listening i'm in the car park at lidl have come to Lidl from a change for a change from Aldi and um, I've just been listening to Mrs Meldrum's podcast with her husband it's called Wagging the Chin and it's worth a listen I, I've been quite enjoying listening to them chatting it's just sort of like overhearing a couple chatting about various things very informal and um, yeah I quite enjoy it but um yeah, I've just been listening to that and they've been talking about the weather as well and saying how absolute... They're, mind you, they've just been in Dubai for two weeks, so I don't feel quite as sorry for them as I feel for myself. <laughs> because, yeah, just the weather is so grim. It's, it really feels... I think because it's been a bit of a rotten winter for me as well and, you know, not the best time feel so desperate for some sunshine so absolutely desperate feel so desperate that i contemplated <laughs> booking a holiday by myself next week <laughs> i'm not gonna do it we've got lots booked later in the year but oh my god i'm desperate for some guaranteed sunshine any sunshine would do it would be nice and a bit of warmth on my bones and just getting outside but i realize it's terribly boring to listen to someone talk about that sort of thing but i guess this is weekly vlog isn't it and um that's that's what we do in a weekly vlog and i've just realized as well that i think i've come to little without a pound for the trolley because i haven't got a pound coin i usually keep a couple of pound coins in my car and for some reason they're not in there i think william borrowed them for something last time he was in my car and i haven't replaced them and that's really super annoying but never mind anyway i asked on instagram you guys to um tell me what to buy a little because i'm normally an aldi shopper i'm not a massive um little shopper at all and you've told me all sorts of things one thing that has kept coming up though is the bakery items um i am trying to be good i am trying to put good stuff into my body at the moment and um yeah after i think i said a period of overindulgence somewhat over the last couple of months or month or whatever um trying to be good so i'll perhaps be avoiding the um bakery stuff but there are all sorts of very interesting things you've suggested so right let me check actually you're sitting just you just go down there a second i know it's a horrible angle um no i definitely haven't got a pound oh that's so annoying so 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 annoying never mind we'll manage so this is one of the things that somebody recommended in my um, little recommendations on Instagram, the fizzy peach sweets. Now, I absolutely would love these. They'd be right up my street. But look at the size of the bag compared with the size of my hand. And I would just eat the whole lot in one sitting. I know myself. So with regret, I'm going to put them back this time. 
750 mils of own brand, well, not, not own brand, but brand I don't know, extra virgin olive oil for 99. Show you new Tesco's. It's several hours later. It's still the same day. I know I have a different colour top on because the black top that I was wearing, which was a vintage buy, and I like very much. In fact, very rarely does actually comment on anything I'm wearing. And this morning when I put that top on, he said, oh, that's a nice top. However, it's one of those that has a, like a jersey back. Oh God, never stops, does it? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, the front of it is like a really slippy material and it tends to slip back. So the front rides up. So it's not a good top for me, unfortunately. So that one's got to go, which is one less item in my wardrobe, isn't it? Anyway, let me show you all the goodies that I found in Aldi. God, now my battery light's flashing. Oh, never rains but it pours, doesn't it? Right, let's start with the boring stuff. Actually, there's not much that's boring. The mushroom for the bolognese I'm going to make this afternoon. Some onions, much the same. Some of their crumpets, which I thought seemed a really good price. I can't remember how much anything was now, but there you go. Um, now, when I asked about washing up liquid a couple of weeks ago, or perhaps a month ago, so a couple of people mentioned the Lidl's own brand of washing up liquid. So I'm very sceptical, I've got to say. I don't think it's going to be as good as Fairy. It even looks very watery compared with it in the bottle. But I will give it a go and I'll let you know how I get on. I've still got half a big bottle of Fairy to use up. So it'll be a while before I try that one. Now, this was one thing that was recommended when I asked on Instagram. This is a whole jar, of, sorry, a jar of whole piquillo peppers with garlic. I love these on a salad or something like that, so I thought I would give those a go. There's a little rogue yellow one down there, all the rest seem to be yellow. This was again a really good price. I think this was less than a pound in Tesco's. I feel like these are really expensive. This was another recommendation, which sounds right up my street. This is whipped soft cheese with chili and red pepper, is that? Yeah, red pepper and chilli, that sounds delicious. And um, I've got some of these barbecue rice crackers, I thought they looked really nice. And I've got some of these pea snacks, There's six packets in there, sweet chilli and lemon. They also had soy and balsamic, which sounded really nice. They're 88 calories a bag, just a little snacky thing there. What else did I get? Um, I've got a couple of the grass-fed fillet steaks. Somebody said those were really good on the... Um, Right way up, Caroline, <laughs> on the um, Instagram post that I did. Somebody recommended those. I've got some eggs, which I just needed. Um, I got some reduced fat beef mints for my bolognese. I've got this, an organic ginger turmeric shot. I think this was what the person recommended on my Instagram. They said ginger and lemon um, drinks that were 99p. It was 99p. And they also had a ginger, was it just plain ginger or ginger and something else? But apparently these are, I couldn't see any ginger and lemon ones, but I got a ginger and turmeric one. Um, so, should we give that a go? Let's give that a go while I'm chatting to you. They're meant to be very zingy and wake you up. 99p, quite expensive for a little can, but... Oh my God, that's it. <laughs> that would wake you up. Um, you have, you'd have to be a lover of ginger for that. I actually love ginger, so I'm good with that, but... Yes, that is very gingery. Whew, that would be good in a Bloody Mary. <laughs> Just a thought. The asparagus tips were a really good price. I think they were like £1.25 or something. A courgette, because I am having courgette noodles with my bolognese rather than a pasta. And this was another recommendation, the Spanish potato and onion tortilla, which, sorry, sorry, potato and bacon tortilla. I think the recommendation was potato and onion, but they didn't have that one, so I got the potato and bacon. Sorry about that, sorry about that. my battery died before I got to the end, but I only had, I think, one more item, but it wasn't of much interest, so um, I gave up. I just thought I would look up the um, calories in the ginger and turmeric shot. It's about, do you serve of... It's just under 60 for that, which is quite a lot of calories. It is very fresh and zingy and nice, and it certainly does wake you up. If I'm Next time I go in there, I'm going to look for the lemon one, because I think that would be quite interesting as well. So, um, 
yeah that was my little shopping I was going to show you how the builders were getting on but it's too dark in there to show you so I'll show you how much less they've left out in my house shall I I mean they are lovely blokes I like them a lot but my Christ they're messy my goodness me look at this just everywhere you look this bit's not so bad actually but in here is a, I've felt quite stressed about it in here all day it's so so messy and there's things of cement I mean this is a bit of my house you know oh I'll be glad when they're done morning. good morning it is Thursday it's definitely been a less activity weekly vlog hasn't it this week I feel like it's been a lot shorter they can't be super long ones every week oh god I've got hair on my face oh annoying I am dropping Ashley's phone off to him he left his phone at home um, and I know he's going to need it so I'm being a good wife and dropping it down to him um, that's the only reason I am leaving the house this morning I've had a good start to the day and a bad start to the day. The good, because I do Wordle every morning, you know. If you know, you know what Wordle is. The um, Guess the Word game. And my mum and my brother also do it every morning. We have a bit of a competition going on. We've, my, my brother's got spreadsheets and monthly stats and yearly stats and all sorts for us. And it's just it's just a nice way of it's all touching base. Now my, my brother, my mum and I have a little family chat on WhatsApp and um, it's just a nice way of touching base in the morning first thing we um, all put our scores in and um, have a chat about who's won and who hasn't and all that sort of thing which is just nice now my mum lives by herself um, but yeah I enjoy doing Wordle and I got it in two this morning it's the first time I think it might be the first time this year that I've got it in two I feel like I've not got it in two for ages so very pleased mum and Nick both got it in four the word was since if anybody's interested um, yes yeah, so that was a good start to the day and then I as I always do first thing in the morning I pack my parcels from orders the day before and I can't find one order and I've been through all the boxes it might have been in and I've been through the next levels of boxes that it could be and I have a stock skew system and very occasionally it does fail and um, yeah I've now got the unedifying prospect of going through all the rest of the boxes so I'm not really looking forward to that but it doesn't have to be posted out till Monday so that's good um, so yeah there's that the, re the plan for the rest of today do you know what I am so tired by the time the evening comes I'm good in the mornings not bad in the mornings at all but after lunch I'm bloody hopeless last night we watched a film we watched um, Bill and Ted the the reboot of Bill and Ted that was in 2020 I think or 2019 it came out during Covid um, Bill and Ted Face the Music that's the one um, not a great film but I'm glad we watched it but yeah not, 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 it, was, it was just okay you know not as good as the first two I remember really liking the first two um, anyway that's by the boat we watched a film we finished that about nine o'clock and my god I was beyond tired I could barely drag myself into the bedroom and take my clothes off and get ready for bed I was so tired I was thinking that the tiredness is um sort of mainly due to grief over my dad and perhaps due to the winter going on and on as well but I'm beginning to wonder seriously if I've got something wrong with me and I hate saying that sort of thing on the internet because people in a very well-meaning way will go all you want to see the doctor all you want to do this or it could be that and just put armchair diagnosis from 100 people can be a little bit much in the comments so please try not to do that I, I know it's, it comes from a good place but it can be overwhelming but um yeah I, ju I just feel exhausted so much of the time maybe it's just age maybe I'm just getting old old and tired and knackered that's me and here is this morning's breakfast. It is a roasted vegetable omelette with one cooked heck chicken sausage sliced up in it and um, two little baby bells, little baby bell lights cheeses on the top just broken up into pieces and melted under the grill. Um, I'm only going to have half of that because it looks a bit big to me. 
Oh, Instagram adverts, you little devils. I see this dress and I, th I absolutely love it. How gorgeous is that dress? And it, just, it even comes in my size and it's only 23 99 It comes in a whole load of different colours. Black, grey. I do like the beige though. You see, I'm thinking loose fit. It sort of drapes nicely over, doesn't it? I would look like I was wearing a huge white hessian sack if I put that on. I don't doubt um, the joys of being fat and short, but at least I knew myself well enough to stop myself from ordering it. That's not the best angle, is it? Let me, is that working? Yes, that should work. Um, this month's toil, time of your life parcel has just arrived. This is a monthly subscription box um, of mostly skincare aimed at over 45 women which as far as i know i think i say this every month is the it's challenging to get into <laughs> it's the only box aimed at women of a certain age subscription box as far as i'm aware and it has some lovely stuff in it every month i do get sent this that was a workout in itself just opening that right should we see what's in it, it comes with a little leaflet every month and I do have a discount code if you want to subscribe to this, so I'll pop it down in the description box. It says, welcome to your March hydration box. Have to say, by this point of the winter, and yes, it is meant to be spring. <laughs> I was talking to my builder about this this morning, and he says it's not just me, it has been the longest winter ever. So I was quite pleased that he sort of agreed with me on that. It says, welcome to your March hydration box, and apparently the contents are worth £109, which is nice. This stage of the winter with the central heating still on, definitely needing hydration. My skin is definitely dry. Um, right, let's see what we've got. There are four items in here. Let's start with this. Aurelia, that's a really nice brand. This is a Cell Repair Night Oil. Do you know, I was only thinking the other day, I haven't got a... Um, Facial oil, I, I used up my last one. I think I had a Clarins one that was quite nice, but I used it up and I was thinking I need to look into getting one. This is a cell repair night oil, overnight boosting treatment with Bayabab. Bay Anybody got any ideas on that? Um, hemp and neroli. I know neroli is a nice smelling thing. So I've got a perfume by Jo Malone, which is neroli and something, I think. Comes with a little dropper. Smells quite nice. Yeah, it does smell nice. It says combined with the water attracting wet red moisturizer. We'll get to that in a second. This duo are the perfect couple to get your skin soft and hydrated fast. Probiotic, perfect for sensitive skin. That sounds excellent. It says this night oil is brilliant with a bit of facial massage. Take five minutes, three times a week and gently massage into your face using the skills we learned last October. Last October? I don't remember what I did yesterday, let alone last October, but facial massage. Nice. That looks a very nice oil. This is a full-size one. Everything's almost always full-size in this box, and it is worth £42, or its RRP is £42, I should say. Right, let's have a look at this Ren moisturiser. I quite like Ren as a brand. I've got a Ren... Um, toner on the go which is very nice at the moment an exfoliating toner so this is the uh, marine moisture replenish cream it's called and it comes in a pump style bottle like that love a pump bottle nice and hygienic it says this moisturizer is all about using sea algae okay they'll go nicely with the baobab <laughs> to drench your skin in hydration, as well as glycerin to attract water from the air to your skin during the day. This keeps skin looking plump and fresh while also smoothing the appearance of dehydrated lines. Perfect for women of our age group. Absolutely lovely. I shall enjoy trying that. As I say, I've tried lots of red things before, but um, not this one. It's the Ever Hydrate Cream, that's called. RRP on that one is 35 pounds, again, full size. What have we got here? Oh, we've got a Bobby Brown. This is not a full size. <laughs> However, it is the vitamin enriched face base, which I absolutely love. This is a really moisturizing primer. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited to have a small size one of that. Um, I've recently finished a full size one and I'm currently using the dupe from 
Aldi, which is not bad. It's not not as quite as good as it's um, what it's duping, but it's not bad at all. But this is lovely. The blurb on this says, "This is the very best under makeup moisturizer I can find." I agree. As I said, I can't remember if I was saying it's like a very moisturizing primer. I use it after skincare, but immediately before I put my makeup on, and I find it really helps my makeup lasting as well. So very happy to have that then the final product today is the ascend that's not a brand that i know um chamomile and cbd cleansing butter i love a good cleansing but butter that reminds me of there's a brand that i really do not like is it it's not liz earl it's another brand like that quite an expensive brand and this you might remember if you've watched me for a while because i've talked about it on here before and i couldn't finish it the smell of it was just too it's, it's not as strong as that one that um award-winning skincare beautifully made in the uk with some of the loveliest ingredients so if you want a uk made um cleansing butter here is one it's 20 pounds this one again it's full size it says if you like simple natural skincare then this is cracking for you as i said i will pop the discount code and link and all of that jazz down below i've got some really nice products in that every month i do if you want if you like a bit of skincare and sometimes there's other bits that aren't skincare as well i think we had did we have a candle in it once that was really nice and some sort of home fragrancy bits and pieces. I could be telling a lie there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we did. But um, yeah, re really nice. I recommend it. I like it very much. Somebody asked to see my bottle lights up close. Um, they are all just bottles, nice bottles. That um, that was a bottle of Prosecco or Carver or something, I think, um, that had a nice texture to it. And um, this one was a tequila bottle that was an interesting shape. Um, but yeah, you can buy these string lights, very cheap, on Amazon. Um, and they are, have rechargeable batteries, or not rechargeable, but you can change the batteries. They take little watch batteries, so you can change them. Those ones are fading quickly, actually. They need, that needs changing. I'll pop a link in the description box for anybody who's interested in the um, bottle lights. Just put my banana republic perfume on the dark cherry and amber one I haven't worn it for a while and i've forgotten how much i love it <sighs> never rains but it pours ashley's mum is now in hospital I'm sure she doesn't want me to talk about her medical issues on the internet but um she went for a doctor's appointment today and was sent to hospital and Looks like she's got to stay in. So I actually took her down there. They're just waiting for some tests now. And um, it's half past five. In, in addition to this, in addition to this, actually I had to park illegally because there was nowhere legal to park at the hospital. Parking at the hospital is a living hell. Just let's put it like that. <laughs> so he's expecting a parking ticket in the post now. Um, he spent the afternoon at the hospital with his mum. She's he's, he's now gone back to the office to finish off some stuff there because it's absolutely up the wall at the office. <laughs> We're also meant to be going out tonight for a curry with friends, last minute sort of thing. But he's, he's in addition to all of this, his car is not working properly and his other car is in the garage behind the skip, which is not yet full. <laughs> so he can't get that out honestly you can make it up um so he's coming back from the office we're going to take my car go down to the hospital see how julie's getting on if she needs anything if she's being admitted or needs taking home or any of that stuff and then hopefully get out for a night out with friends at some point but honestly it never rains but it pours doesn't it in other news the builders have made good progress they've had the um Thing down in between my bedroom and the bathroom all day so it's pretty chilly up there but it's actually warmer than it has been so it's not too bad and they make good progress the shower tray is just going down shortly so um, that's exciting good morning it's friday we made it to the end of the week thank goodness for that oh it's 20 to 10 i've just got back from parcel drop-off and tesco's this morning 
as you can see I have no makeup on that's because we are going to try this thing here this is the no needles dermal filler starter kit which is sort of promoted as um botox in a bottle type of thing it lasts for up to nine hours apparently and i've got five little tubes each tube has two applications so it says i spent yesterday afternoon watching some video i'll just take my glasses off because they're steaming up by the way um i spent yesterday afternoon watching videos online of people using it and looking at their results a lot of them were very young girls who in my eyes didn't have a single line or anything that needed adjusting on their face anyway um so it was difficult to see any marked results on them but i did find some older ladies on tiktok my age and older using it and they had some pretty good results so i'm quite excited to see what it does um i think um, one of the reasons i didn't like the idea of it initially because it said you couldn't wear makeup under it or over it and i think what's the point of tightening everything up if you then can't put your makeup on um, however, a couple of women in the videos that I watched said that they'd been able to put um, makeup on and showed them putting makeup on over it with pretty good results. It says lightly pat on a very thin layer to targeted areas and it's got a little picture with the targeted areas there. I have got, I'm going to bring you in close, so quite a bad crease here which i can't see because i've got no glasses on at the moment so just above my eyebrow i've got it on both sides i'm going to try it on one side only to see if there's a marked difference i don't know whether to try it on my furrows up here as well and it says that you can try it on eye bags as well and it will tighten everything up under your eye which sounds good and also I, I really want to try it on these lines i mean they're so deep on me that i don't think it will do an awful lot i need a bloody crane to improve that to be honest but i might try it just um down here on this one and see. i think i'm going to try it this side of my face but um right let's give it a go so yeah all these lines under here and this sort of creasy line up here i'd like to try and get rid of and then I'm going to have a little go sort of down here to see if I can do anything with that as well. And m maybe some of these lines up here. So we'll give it a go. You have to pat on a very light amount and then um, wait for three minutes. So I'll probably speed this bit up. I'm not sure if I've used enough. Um, I was very, very light with it. I didn't want it to go chalky, which seems to be the problem that a lot of people talk about. Just grabbing my phone to do a three minute. Hey Siri, do a three minute timer, please. Three minutes, counting down. While I'm waiting for that to do its thing. Oh yes, I've just rubbed it together with my finger and you can see it goes chalky and yeah weird anyway while i'm waiting for my timer to go off um, we had such a good night out last night there was an elton john tribute act in the indian restaurant it was absolutely full really good atmosphere packed and um, yeah we had a really nice meal really entertaining evening he was absolutely great the guy who um was doing the elton john stuff um or being elton john and um, yeah really fun evening and um, we also went to see ashley's mum in the hospital she was waiting to be put onto a ward they were keeping her in she's she's okay they just need to um get her sorted out so it's a real shame because um, ashley's mum does not embrace the technological world she has a nokia 3310 and i know some people don't but in situations like this where you can't easily text her she, do, she doesn't do text texting at all either receiving or sending so we can't text her um she also hasn't got an when i was in hospital recently i was had my ipad an absolute lifesaver and my bluetooth headphones and i just watched so much television and stuff on the ipad they have really good wi-fi in the hospital thank goodness but um, i don't think they have televisions for the patients that they can actually watch other than in a little lounge room um in the ward i was on and um, they used to have televisions for each bed that you could pay for didn't they but i don't think they have that in um our local hospital anymore i think they just assume people will watch it on their phones and stuff so yeah it's just another people do get left behind if they don't embrace technology these days don't they rightly or wrongly it's um 
unfortunately a sign of the times. I'm looking in my mirror and I'm seeing almost no difference at all to how long have I got? Oh, it's got another 30 seconds. feel like I should be seeing something now. Okay, my three-minute timer has gone off. Um, let me see what I think. Um, I need to put my glasses on it to have a look at my... I feel like maybe this line has improved a little bit and possibly a little bit of change on my crease lines across my forehead I've only done this side of my face remember and I would say absolutely no improvement to my under eye here I can't see any improvement there's still all those wrinkles there I wonder if I didn't use enough down here possibly a little difficult to say I'm, I'm gonna go for a bit more I think um let's try it again I don't see I don't know if you can put more on top or not it doesn't say but um Let's try. Perhaps I wasn't generous enough with the amounts. I feel like this is probably the most successful one, but I'm not seeing a massive difference, I have to say. Um, I'm going to try this little crease line here as well. And I'm going to put a bit more on it than I put on the other side to see if that will improve. Of course, now I'm doing the other side, we won't be able to do a comparison, but I'm... I'm concerned that having let it dry and then put more on top that's not really how you meant to do it so i'm giving this side more of a go right i'm going for another three minutes right another three minutes have passed i can actually feel a tightening effect this time so obviously using a bit more was good um can't see anything down here can't see any improvement in that can't see anything on my hooded eyes i don't feel like that's tightened up at all um perhaps i needed to do it a bit lower there um i do see a bit of an improvement up here i feel like across my forehead is where it's improved the most i mean it's not a massive improvement but yeah i feel like it has lifted these little lines here a bit that the sort of crease lines that are getting worse as i age that i do feel like that has lifted under my eye it feels very chalky i used more under my eye that time um i don't feel like it's made a big difference yeah a little bit disappointing i would say overall i feel i'm really wondering if i just haven't used enough perhaps i just haven't been sparing enough but i do feel like that has improved a little bit maybe i'm just too old and wrinkly and it's not gonna work on me but yeah it's done really nothing at all for my under eyes and um, that's a shame i sort of had quite high hopes for that but i guess you know you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear as they say can you okay here's the thing i wasn't using enough i decided to use up the rest of the tube just to give it a go and um yeah the payoff is you get a very chalky feeling on your face but look at how smooth my head is now that's interesting it's also really helped that under eye i've done it quite a lot on that under eye now um still got that little crease in there but there were several creases before so that's improved also the inner part of that so the eye bag has improved with that but yeah it's it it is a chalky dry feeling and when you rub it together when it's been in your fingers it just sort of flakes away um so i can see putting makeup over the top of that would bit be tricky yeah it's, de it's definitely lifted that side of my face so yeah it worked as it's friday i'm being a good employer of builders and i've got them pizzas i'm just about there's plumbers here as well today again just about to pop those in the oven for them and I've got donuts for them this afternoon. This is how you keep your builders sweet. <laughs> Happy builders. That's good. I'm not pleased with the crocuses. They look as though they're half dead, despite the fact I've given them more water. And there's literally, there's never, I can't even speak. I'm so irritated by them. I mean, isn't that annoying when you've done everything it said you said you should do? Why is there no flowers? Anyway, I'm better news, I bought myself two bunches of daffodils this morning, so they're nice. I think we are going to call this a vlog while I put these on the fireplace. Um, 
and I will see you again next week. It's been a much quieter one this week. I've enjoyed it actually, it was really nice. Um, perhaps a bit more getting out and about and doing stuff next week, we shall see. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.